for Vermilion Lloyd Minister. Mr. Speaker, last year after a province-wide consultation, Alberta Agriculture and Rural Development released the Rural Economic Development Action Plan. Rural Albertans supported this initiative as they essentially wrote it. But now rural development has been dropped from the Minister's title, what? and based on recent examination of the Minister's website, the Rural Economic Development Action Plan has also mysteriously disappeared. Okay. To the Minister of Agriculture and Forestry, do you remain committed to the Rural Economic Development Action Plan, and why has this plan been removed from your department's website? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thanks to the member for the question. I'd like to thank the member for reminding the House of the importance of that program, and I look forward to discussing it in more detail with him soon. As the House knows, farm families work extremely hard and are a pillar of Alberta's economy. That's why I've been meeting with farmers and producers to hear their concerns and their ideas and why its government were working actively to strengthen agriculture and the, and the uh, uh, communities that they support to help grow Alberta's economy. Honourable Member, first supplemental. Well, Mr. Speaker, that was certainly very well read. Uh, given the broad <laughs> range of public consultation that went into the Rural Economic Development Action Plan and given the vital importance of having a vibrant and sustainable rural economy to the economic diversification and overall success of Alberta, can the Minister outline how he has determined that he knows better than rural Albertans on this issue? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I in no way think that I know better than the rural, rural Albertans, and that's why we are doing our best to consult with them, with farming families and the rural communities. Uh, the interim supply bill is simply a way to keep current programs operating this, for, this year. I look forward to discussing funding priorities in more detail with this member and this House as we double, develop the full budget coming into the fall. Thank you. Second supplemental. Well, Mr. Speaker, given the propensity of this government to ignore not only the recommendations of rural Albertans, but rural Alberta in general, uh, first on health, now on rural development, there is a palpable and growing sense of resentment in rural Alberta toward this government. To the Premier, what other recommendations from rural Albertans does your government plan on ignoring? Honourable Premier. Well, Mr. Speaker, I, I, I think that, uh, that uh, the, the Minister is perhaps overstating his case just a little bit. We are very concerned about ensuring the sustainability of our rural communities. We are very concerned about ensuring that we give uh, those kids who grow up in rural communities a reason to move home and to come back home. That means supporting our strong public services in our rural communities, as well as ensuring that we uh, focus on job creation opportunities in rural communities. And as we move forward on our job creation strategy, and as we move forward in our budget in the fall, we have every intention of ensuring that the interests of rural communities feature prominently in the work that we do. Thank you.